Prepare to have your reality shaken to its core because today we're delving into a groundbreaking development that's set to redefine our world as we know it. Welcome back to yet another video on AI Trail where today we are sharing how Google is taking the rein, preparing to shape the very foundations of the industry with an astonishing innovation, an artificial intelligence masterpiece christened Gemini. This isn't your run of the mill tech update. Oh no, Gemini is nothing you've ever encountered before. It's catapulting AI technology into a whole new realm, setting a high bar that even the most formidable giants, such as ChatGPT and the formidable GPT-4, may find challenging to scale. Gemini stands poised at the frontier of understanding and generating human language, pioneering advancements that will leave you questioning the very fabric of reality. And I promise you, this is a revolution you will not want to be left out of. So brace yourself for an incredible journey and remember, Every minute of this video counts. There's no turning back once we plunge into the fascinating world of Gemini. So stay glued till the very end. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. Google's Project Gemini, or Generalized Multimodal Intelligence Network, is their latest stride in redefining the limits of AI. Unlike traditional AI models designed for a single type of data, Gemini is a multimodal intelligence network. In simple terms, it can process various types of data and tasks simultaneously including text, images, audio, video, 3D models, or even graphics. Gemini isn't just a standalone model. It's a network of models. Each model contributes to the overall system capability, allowing Gemini to handle a wide array of tasks without needing specialized models for each. This makes Gemini incredibly flexible and powerful, a true revolution in the world of AI. So how does Gemini work? Its innovation architecture merges a multimodal encoder and decoder. The encoder's job is to convert different types of data into a common language that the decoder can understand. Once the data is encoded, the decoder generates outputs based in different modalities based on the task at hand, creating a final product that can be consumed by the user. For instance, the input to the encoder can be an image, and the task is to generate a caption. The encoder would turn the image into a vector that captures all of its features and meaning, and the decoder would then generate a text output that describes the image. This streamlined process starts with various inputs fed into Gemini. The encoder transforms these into a unified representation. The model, which is task agnostic, then processes this encoded input. The decoder then takes the processed inputs and creates outputs, which are then returned to the user. This impressive feat of technological ingenuity is part of what sets Gemini apart from its predecessors. So, what makes Gemini special when compared to large language models like GPT-4? For starters, it's incredibly adaptable. It can handle any data type and task without the need for specialized models or fine tuning. Furthermore, it can learn from any domain and data set, free from the constraints of predefined categories or labels. This versatility is a significant leap forward in the field of AI. Google has developed Gemini in four distinct sizes, Gecko, Otter, Bison, and Unicorn. While they haven't provided the exact parameters for each, it's suggested that Unicorn is the largest and most likely similar to GPT-4 in terms of parameters. This flexibility of size makes Gemini sustainable for a wide array of applications, from small-scale tasks to handling large, complex data sets. One of Gemini's most exciting aspects is its ability to generate novel outputs. Unlike other AI models that can only produce content within the boundaries of their training data, Gemini can create content that doesn't necessarily exist in its training data. This capability makes Gemini a powerful tool for a multitude of creative tasks. Whether it's a written report, a visual diagram, or an audio narration, Gemini is equipped to handle it all. Gemini's capabilities don't stop at creating new content. It can perform a wide range of tasks, more varied and complex than those of other large language models like GPT-4. For instance, it can answer questions based on multiple data sets, summarize long pieces of texts, audio, or video content, and translate content between different languages. It can even translate between different data types. For example, turning a text description into an image or 3D model. In addition to all these, Gemini can generate content in various formats, such as writing essays, creating images, and composing music. Perhaps the most impressive aspect of Gemini is its ability to reason. By combining information from different data types and tasks, it can make assumptions and draw conclusions. This makes it a potent tool for problem-solving and decision-making tasks, redefining what AI can achieve. Gemini isn't just a new AI model. 
It's a peek into the future of AI. With its multimodal capabilities and creative prowess, Gemini is set to change our interaction with AI. From a digital assistant that understands not just words, but also the images or videos you show it, to an AI that creates unique paintings or composes original songs, the possibilities are endless. The future looks exciting with Gemini. AI systems that understand and solve complex problems could revolutionize fields like healthcare, finance, and logistics. The ability to ask your AI to find a recipe based on a picture of a dish or to summarize a video lecture you don't have time to watch is becoming a reality. But how does Gemini compare to GPT-4, OpenAI's large language model? GPT-4, with its whopping 1 trillion parameters, is primarily designed to handle tasks involving text data. While it is powerful in its own right, its abilities are confined to text-based tasks. Gemini, on the other hand, is designed to handle multiple types of data and tasks simultaneously. It's not just a single model, but a network of models, each contributing to the system's overall capabilities. While GPT-4 is an excellent tool for text-based tasks, Gemini's multimodal capabilities make it a more versatile tool capable of handling a broader range of tasks and data types. In conclusion, Gemini represents a significant advancement in the field of AI. Its versatility, wide-ranging capabilities, and potential applications make it a force to be reckoned with. Google's latest venture has put it squarely at the forefront of the AI industry, a position, it seems, set to dominate with the power of Gemini. As the AI landscape continues to evolve, it's fascinating to imagine what the future holds. Google's Gemini has redefined what we can expect from AI, and it will be interesting to see how it shapes the industry moving forward. It's a checkmate move from Google, and we can only watch in anticipation as the next moves play out on the AI chessboard. So that's all about Gemini, folks. I hope you found this exploration enlightening. If you like it, be sure to let me know and subscribe to the channel. And don't hesitate to share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. We're just scratching the surface of the exciting new era of AI, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll catch you in the next one.